But I'm only concerned with one thing, to see that you get Pete in a true perspective, a present day perspective. Something like this has got to be presented right. Why don't you tell him what you saw down the old bog road? The whole fabric of rural Ireland now is being shaken to its very roots. There is too much government interference now in the ordinary life of the people. I never thought I'd see the day that turf cutting, all turf cutting now will be controlled. You'll have to get special permission to go to any bog to cut turf. I don't think it's fair that the 92% of bogs owned by Borna Mona are excluded from the EU director. That, that, they're free to cut any bog regardless of whether there, is, there are plants for or else grown on it. They are now going to produce a million tonnes of turf a year for a power station in Port Leisha. The private producers on the 8% of the bugs wouldn't cut a million turf, million tons of turf in 10 years. Well, I think in Brussels they seem to have an idea, but they haven't it worked out properly, that they should preserve the bugs in Ireland. Why pick on 8% of the private producers and not spread it over the other 92%. Why, I bet even the Irish haven't got much idea of what's been happening these last few years under their own noses. Our politicians have walked over us, they have sold us out. If Europe collapsed tomorrow, the ordinary people wouldn't give two hoots. My main objection to the ban is that we are being told that we can't cut turf in our own land. Once I have my stack of turf at the back, I don't have the worry of wondering, will I have enough money to go through the year to keep my house warm? If anything, we are helping our bog. We are working alongside nature and we are helping our bog. Now it's a strange trick of fate, seeing that we're facing national bankruptcy, that people cannot use their own resources that were considered as national policy down the years. Things may happen outside our control that will force a policy of self-sufficiency on us. We may have to go back and look to the land again. I wouldn't say that the people have lost the tie with the land after the Celtic tiger. I would feel that the government have lost the tie with the land for a long, long time, sold us out to Europe. An island called Ireland. Its two parts are Northern Ireland and Era. Let's remember that Era, the larger part, is a green land mostly agricultural. By and large, the people who work the bogs manage them well. They preserve them well. We are the people of the land. But now they're turning it back on us. That is the people of the areas that have done this damage. We haven't done the damage. Ornamona are damaging the environment. Here, anything that comes is accepted. And the answer they give you is, well, sure, look at we got so much from Europe, we have to give them so much back. We can't be antagonizing them. What's your opinion of the present government and past governments? They're not prepared to question anything that comes from Europe. They're prepared to accept it willy-nilly. The people aren't looking for compensation. The people want to continue cutting the top. They feel they have that right to cut the top. And I feel that if there are people next spring who feel they want to cut their turf, they should cut their turf. They'll be regarded as breaking the law. But 
all law is supposed to be based on justice and that's an unjust law and there's nothing wrong in regulating an unjust law even if it means a term of imprisonment